Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Tombstone Tourist. This week, I'm at the Hampton Memorial Gardens in Hampton, Virginia. This is a fairly large, well-kept cemetery that has all flat ground markers. This makes it kind of difficult to find a specific grave unless you know exactly where to look. Before arriving here, I checked find the grave as is my usual practice and found that the grave I was looking for had GPS coordinates. However, when I arrived, I soon found that the listed coordinates were way off. In addition to the GPS coordinates, Find the Grave also had a section and plot location. The section listed was to the left of the circle where all the flags were, so I started walking. After about an hour or so, I finally found the grave of the man who is probably best remembered for his role as Bubba on the TV show Sanford and Son. Here is the grave of Don Bubba Bexley. Don Thomas Bexley was born on March 10th, 1910, and most of the information that I could find online indicates that he was born in Jamestown, Virginia. However, a couple of websites claim that he was actually born in Detroit, Michigan. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go with Jamestown. Don's father was a teacher and his mother a singer. Growing up, Don was always the funny guy, always entertaining his family and friends with his antics. He once said growing up, he was always the funny guy or the clown of the family. So it was no surprise to anyone when Don eventually found his niche as a comedian. In his teens and twenties, Don, who was a versatile entertainer, began performing as a singer, dancer, comedian, and actor. But in the early 40s, he turned his attention to comedy and found his way to upstate New York. During this time, he met and performed with the likes of Milton Burrow, Danny Kaye, Henny Youngman, and even danced with Sammy Davis Jr. Don was such a popular comedian that he was the first black comedian to be booked on the hotel circuit in the Catskills. It was during this point that he met another black comedian named Red Fox. The two men became friends and over the years performed together in places like New York, Boston, Philadelphia, and Baltimore. Both Red and Don eventually found their way to the West Coast. In 1969, the two were cast together in a comedy film called Cotton Comes to Harlem, which was directed by Ozzie Davis. A couple of years later, in 1971, Red Fox was hired as the lead in a TV comedy series called Sanford and Son. Red was cast to play the cantankerous junk dealer named Fred G. Sanford. His partner in the business was his son, Lamont, which was played by Damon Wilson. During casting for Sanford and Son, Red convinced producers Bud Yorkin and Aaron Rubin to hire Don for the reoccurring role of Fred's friend Bubba. This was Don's first TV role, and he became one of the show's most popular characters. From 1972 until 1977, Sanford and Son was one of TV's top 10 rated programs. While Don didn't appear in every episode of Sanford and Son, his character was popular enough to be featured in the short-lived spinoff called Sanford Arms. When Sanford and Son and Sanford Arms ended, Don continued in television, landing guest appearances on shows like Cheers and Laverne and Shirley. One of his final roles was in another TV series that featured his friend Red Fox called The Royal Family. Red Fox was known for being incredibly loyal to his friends he and Don remained friends for over 50 years. In fact, when Red passed away in 1991, Don Bexley served as an honorary pallbearer at his funeral in Las Vegas. After Red's death, Don lived in the San Fernando Valley where he continued to work on a number of projects 
and eventually returned to the comedy stage performing at clubs throughout the LA area. In 1996, Don injured his hip and was unable to take care of his daily needs. So, he moved back to Hampton, Virginia where he lived with his friend who also served as his caregiver. Don Bubba Bexley died at the age of 87 of heart and kidney failure here in Hampton, Virginia on April 15th, 1997. Well, I'm going to end this video at the grave of Don Bubba Bexley here in the Hampton Memorial Gardens. If you have a favorite episode of Sanford and Son, I hope you'll share it with us in the comments. My favorite was the Blind Mellow Jelly episode that featured Fred and Bubba trying to get Blind Mellow Jelly records back from the library. Bubba was supposed to be Blind Mellow Jelly's son, Potbelly. I want to thank you so much for watching my videos and if you haven't already done so, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. And if you're so inclined, a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Now, until next time, please remember, life is a wonderful journey. Be sure to take time and enjoy it. And I'll see you down the road. So long, everybody.